Welcome to Quick Garden and thank you for visiting our website. Now we will show you the assembly process for our products. Start by ensuring the assembly ground is level. The product will be delivered in a compact package wrapped in plastic. We strongly recommend keeping the package indoors to protect it from bad weather. Remove the wrapping. The package includes door locks, handles and hardware kit. All parts are numbered. Check all parts are present by matching them all against your instruction manual, which is included in the package. You will need only anchor screws, an electric screwdriver, a metal hammer and a rubber hammer. We recommend sorting the parts for your convenience. For flawless models, place the bearers on the ground to form a square. Make sure the bearers are at an equal diagonal distance and are laid evenly. If you are assembling a product with a floor, you must place the bearers like this, without four square bearers. A gap of 50 centimeters should be between each one. Warning, for those products with floors, you only need to lay the bearers in a row whereas for flawless structures, the bearers should be laid in a square. Fix the bearers to each other and then screw them to the ground with anchor screws in each corner. Assemble the walls. Just place the wall boards so that they interlock. The rubber hammer will help you. Screw the walls to the bearers to ensure the structure is solid. Then continue to assemble the rest of the walls. Place the roof frame triangles. Keep in mind that every roof frame triangle should be mounted as a whole structure. Sometimes it comes as a whole structure, sometimes in separate parts. Follow your instruction guide. The following step is to mount the rafters. Each rafter is connected to the mounting place in the middle of each triangle. Fix the roof boards to the rafters with nails. Hammer two nails in each mounting place. Make sure the ends of the roof boards are perfectly parallel to each other. Attach and fix the roof plank border to the roof boards. And screw the roof plank to the roof plank border. Screw the wind boards on top of each other. Attach the wind boards to the roof frame triangles. Evenly place the support trims on the door frame. Screw them into position. Insert the door into place. Attach the rest of the door support trims to the door frame and screw them in. Keep in mind that support trims must be screwed into the door frames and not the wall boards. Do not worry about the space between the wall and upper window frame. The wood will naturally contract so that the space should disappear within a month. This applies to door, window and garage door frames. Place the support trims on the window frame and screw them into place in exactly the same way as with the windows. Insert the window frame into place. Attach the rest of the window support trims to the window frame and screw them in. For installing the garage doors, it is necessary to saw off a part of the wallboard and a bearer. Assemble the garage door frame by screwing it into place. Attach and screw the support trims to the garage door frame. Once the support trims are fixed, the garage door frame must be inserted into place. 
Attach and screw the trims to the garage door frame. Once again, there should be a gap between the garage door's upper frame and the wall. The garage doors must be hung on the hinges. This product comes without a floor, although the floor can be ordered separately. So if you bought the floor for a floorless model, you can see here how the floor bearers should be laid, with gaps of 50 centimeters between each one. Keep in mind that installing the floor should be done last. Place the floorboards on the bearers and either nail or screw them in at an angle. We recommend screwing them in instead of nailing, so you will have a screw-free floor. Then attach and screw the floor trims into the floorboards as shown here. Finally, after the whole structure has been assembled and has been treated, attach the felt roof shingles to the roof boards. The assembly is finished. If you need any further information, please call us, email us or contact us via our website.